So I wanted to show you Samsung. There's this Kotlin language interactive shell, which claims to be better than the normal Kotlin shell. And it's recommended by the Kotlin docs themselves. So let's check it out. So after installing it, you can drop into it by pressing KI. You could type H for help. List doesn't seem to work, nor does LS. I've tried, but quitting definitely does. So drop into it again. You can do 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. This is the same behavior as the usual Kotlin shell, but here you got syntax highlighting. It's uh, really cool. You can even do X is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 4. Uh, print LN X. So you get uh, this nice green highlighting for the strings. You can do var greeting is equal to hello. Very nice. You can do list of one, two, three, four dot filter. You can filter. It has to be, for example, less than four. Enter again. It allows you to do all of this. You get back one, two, three. All of these are less than four. You get this type. Very nice. Or you could do var. Oh, we already have a greeting. Let's just say greeting is plus uh, hello world. Now you get a string. Print ln greeting. You could also do something like if greeting dot length is less than ten. Print len greeting is less than 10 close the thing else open the other thing print ln greeting is not less than 10 close the thing you got it you don't need to do main you don't need to do anything it's just a REPL, but it it looks much nicer i think and it has these completions uh, which i do not think exist and the, I haven't even tried. I just took them for their word. I believed all the marketing uh, and I wanted to show you this. Let's see more examples of what this thing can do. Okay, so you got this help thing again. Let's check this guy type. Let's see what it can do. Just type T. Um, hello. This is a string. T of zero. It's an int t of whatever it's an int all right so you could do you know the function that allows you to create a uh, map on the fly sequence of let's say one uh two and three dot associate with it dot length so you're associating the uh string with its with its size so you get back a type of map string unit. Why? Because you called the wrong function. You're supposed to call it like this. String int. That's correct. That's pretty neat. I never knew that you could do this, actually. I said, do you know the function? I didn't know this function. The more you know. Okay, this is a more serious one. Let's get out of here. Go here. Let's say, for example, I have this file. All right. There's a creature of type creature. There's a class creature has age size. These are two enum classes. And there's a method for printing details, which just prints these details. I have it as a late init creature. And then I print the details. OK, so if I go here and I say Java jar, just run the thing. I've initialized it with 20 size large species human. So I want to go to this KI interactive shell. I want to load this guy from the shell, right? So users all day. Uh, code, yes. Kotlin test. <clears throat> Not found. You need the actual file. It is now loaded. Now the H here, you see this list, now it works. This was uh, new to me. So this is the load. 
we tried the type this is the list so ls right here you have in your access these things right here you got the main you got the actual creature species class size class and the creature class see here line one species i don't know what line one means but uh, yeah so if you were to do this print details it's going to say late init property has not been initialized. Yes, that's true because if you go here, you're going to see it is indeed not initialized yet. So what you do is you can from right within your shell say you want a new creature to be loaded here with the age of 129. Uh, what's this? A size dot, uh, let's say medium and a species of dog yes you have your creature now you can do this on that now you have a new thing right from within your shell isn't that amazing i think that's amazing i think you're amazing so let's clear this one let's try this thing depends on and repository so repository adds a repository for the artifacts lookup. So it's like adding or using Gradle in your project. You need a new repository from which you get a library from. So usually you go Maven or uh, JCenter. JCenter is deprecated now, Maven Central. You can go and look up this repository, add something from it using depends on. So this one and then this one. Or if you have it locally, you can just go this one, but I doubt it. So let's try that repository. I'm gonna paste something nice. So let's clear and try that repository. We're gonna paste this one, remove the space. Yes, this is the Maven repository. And we're gonna say it. the program depends on this thing, which we're gonna take from Maven HTML library. All right, we're gonna import Kotlin X dot HTML dot star, not Kotlin. And then we're going to do Kotlin X dot HTML dot stream dot star. And then we'll have this object create HTML dot HTML. The body is whatever. Any body doesn't matter. H1. Hello. Close this. Close this. And let's print out the HTML object. Isn't that amazing? look at that all from your shell so you can practically develop everything from the shell if you want in the REPL except nothing is going to be uh, memorized when you finish so yeah I think it's pretty handy I really liked it it's a nice project I really liked it good job everybody you have uh, done an excellent job here congratulations and that's it for this video See you in the next one.